So in this first video, we're going to go through how to create a new Apple Watch project or add an Apple Watch target to an existing iOS app. Um, so because of course this is a tutorial, we're going to start from a blank clean project. And we, to do that, we just go to create an Xcode project. Because we're going straight into developing a WatchKit app, we can go to WatchOS, this new tab that's here in I, uh, Xcode 7. We can go application. We can go iOS app with WatchKit app. That will set it all up perfectly for us, ready to go. We can go next. I'm going to call this WatchKit tutorial. And we're going to, for this tutorial, I'm using Swift because that's an easier language to do these things in. And because we're going to be talking about glance scenes in these tutorials and complications in these tutorials, we're going to select both of these. Uh, you just have to put your domain name, your company identifying domain name there. And then we're going to go next. Uh, save that wherever you want. And there we go, we have our app ready to go. As you can see, over here in the sidebar, we have all the components of our app bundle. We have our regular iOS app here with the interface builder, the delegate, and the view controller. And then below this, we have the code tests for our app and a new feature in Xcode 7, UI tests for our app, uh, of course. But we're not building an iOS app, at least not at the moment, for this series. So we can just ignore these three. Below here, we have the two things we're going to be paying attention to. This uh, WatchKit app folder and this WatchKit extension folder. So quickly before I go any further, if you already have an iOS app project, you're probably going to want to know how to add WatchKit to it, to that existing app project. You can just go new, uh, file, new, target, Go down to application and watch OS, just select watch app and go next and set up your app and it will automatically add it to your existing project. But we don't need to do that for now. So let's talk about what these two folders do. The in the simplest way to think about it is this WatchKit app folder contains the UI of your app. It contains the things that are actually presented to your user, while the WatchKit extension runs behind that UI and populates it with information and actually makes it useful. The WatchKit extension contains the logic of your app. So of course, this is where you're probably gonna be spending most of your time. Uh, this is an extremely simplified way of looking at it, but it's probably the easiest way to understand it. It can be quite a complicated structure. Um, so the last thing I wanna do in this video is show you the simulator and how to start the simulator, how you can play around in the simulator. Xcode 7 for WatchKit and uh, WatchOS 2 contains a completely new simulator that is actually a full Apple Watch simulator. It gives you, it simulates the whole watch and all the UIs and stuff. So to access that simulator, as you'd normally access a simulator for an iOS app, you go up here, we're gonna click run. But first we're gonna select the target for our WatchKit tutorial WatchKit app. As you can see, we have all our four different interfaces in here. And then when we go over here, we can see our combination of our either a physical device we might have plugged in. Of course, I don't have one plugged in right now. Or these two predetermined simulators, as you can see, an iPhone 6 with a, that. As you can see, you can check, pick between the two sizes. You pick that, we can go run, and after a couple of seconds, our simulator will open and we can have a play with the full watch kit. It takes a second to open up because as you can see, it has to boot up a whole, essentially, a virtual iOS device and watch. So it does take a while. So after a couple of seconds and a couple of pop-ups will come up asking you for permissions for various things, you'll see you have the simulator here and our iPhone 6 here. If we go Command Shift H, that's like pressing down on the button on the um, digital crown on the Apple Watch it takes us to the home screen of all our apps. Here we have the app that we're building. It just loads up and it doesn't do anything right now, but because it's empty, but we can go Command Shift H again, go back to the home screen. We can go to the settings menu can scroll through the settings. You can use your uh, scroll bar. You can use your two finger scroll or scroller simulate the digital crown scrolling up and down and of course we can go to the watch face 
Um, as you'll also know that Apple Watch has two types of clicks. It has the normal click that we're clicking, which we just normally click now. We have a force click, a deeper click to access more contextual information of the interface. So to get up that force click, we go, we go Shift Command 2, which gives us the force click. And as you can see, it keeps on clicking the force click. To switch back to a regular click, we go Command Shift 1. And then you see we just have a regular click back. Command Shift 2, we can force click. So that's the simulator. Uh, you can have a little play in this. In the next video, which I will hopefully upload soon, I'm probably going to be uploading about an episode a week or a um, video a week, uh, depending on when I get time to make them. So hope you go to the next video where I will be talking about the ways that your WatchKit app can present itself to the user. So I hope to see you there.